Just a disclaimer before the video begins guys, everything I mention in my videos are my opinion, I don't get these devices off anyone so I can speak my mind freely, I have no reason to impress any companies or anything, I will say all the good things and bad things as they are, uh, so yeah, and also any opinions that you guys might have that might differ from mine, just put it in the comments, start a discussion, because there's definitely going to be different opinions, so yeah, enjoy the video. Hi guys, it's your boy Rack. So I'm back here and we have the S24 Plus and this here is my S10 Plus from quite a while back. I'm going to be addressing an issue as factually as possible because as you know, I've, I see a lot of things going around in Samsung forums. Uh, the main reason, as you guys may or may not know, I made this channel is so that I can address a lot of the problems that sometimes the answer is quite obvious, but a lot of people just, you know, blame it on something else. For example, um, in this topic, as you guys know, the uh, may or may not know, the S24 display is posing a few problems compared to previous generation displays. And a lot of people are putting it down to the anti-reflective coating on the S24 Ultra. Uh, but here I have the S24 Plus, so it has none of that anti, anti uh, uh, all of that coating and stuff. So I'm just going to show you a demonstration of what we're talking about here. Um, now obviously it's difficult to represent actual colors while recording through another device but let me just show you um, in comparison. Uh, first of all, I've, I've got to say in default settings, I don't know why my S10 Plus, which has a screen protector from, from for years, uh, that's probably yellowed over time, is looking a lot brighter than the S24 Plus. Uh, however, you can pump up the brightness even more using the extra brightness feature. In pure in daylight in uh, in sunlight, sorry, you will be able to tell the difference in brightness for sure. Uh, it's way brighter on the S24 Plus. Uh, so let's take a look at the colors here. Uh, the S24 S10 Plus, sorry, we are on vivid settings right now. Watch what happens when I switch over to natural. We see a very big difference in the color saturation, right? And if we shift over, you can see that the S10 uh, Plus natural mode is uh, suspiciously similar to the uh, S24 Plus vivid mode. So what do you think is going to happen when I go to natural on this? Almost nothing. So as you can see, Samsung have sort of let go of their vivid design philosophy on this and the new S24 series. Now, there's a lot of reasons that might be. It may be due to software, which other YouTubers have suggested, uh, and Samsung may release a firmware or software update that deals with this. However, in my personal opinion, I don't think that's likely to be the case. So Samsung, this time round, have actually gone ahead and let's be honest they've co copied like 90 percent of what apple does with their sort of design philosophy we've got this uh squared off design which i am a big fan of and i'm really happy that samsung have copied these features off apple uh, we can see even things like the notifications like come on <laughs> you know i don't even need to say anything like this is totally like Apple's design philosophy. And then if we go to the brightness settings, right, we've got a new adaptive color tone feature. And now this, it mimics the true tone feature in the uh, iPhones where it uses your camera in order to see how uh, the, the lighting conditions that you're in. And after that, it will adjust the screen accordingly to make it look more natural. So uh, that's there as well. So Samsung have clearly been taking notes from Apple and one thing about Apple as well is unfortunately the displays are a lot less vivid, a lot less punchy, a lot less saturated. Now that is sort of I guess purposeful because Apple tend to keep things more natural and they it's sort of I don't know easier on the eyes as well you know uh, and it represents real life colors more accurately. However Samsung have always been vivid and the d displays have been the best all round. Because of that, it's been the most attractive. Uh, however, they've sort of let go of that this time around. And I, I personally think this might be a hardware thing. You know, uh, the color signature of this new display is just like that. So if you're going to buy the S24 Plus or Ultra or whatever, I think 
bear in mind that this may be the final version of the display that you get although yes there is the chance that Samsung will update it but I'll be honest um, this if, if if this was I mean this is quite easy for them to notice uh, beforehand like they wouldn't just let this go if if they were hoping to get a more saturated display this time around you know I feel like this was a deliberate move um, on the bright side look for me personally I make videos so this will be more accurate of real life uh, colors so I'm not really complaining I watch lots of videos on YouTube um, comparing the display side by side and you know still looks quite punchy quite popping I do really like the S24 display but yeah there is that, that difference you guys can see it like for yourselves you know I, I don't need to really say anything it's you know I'm just comparing a display of a five-year-old phone and the brand new phone that's just come in the market so you can sort of make your depictions for yourselves so yeah um, I hope that helped uh, I just thought I'd shine some light on this issue and yeah I don't know Samsung doing something like this under the radar is not very nice because they've always been known to have the best displays and for them to suddenly go for a dull natural different sort of display signature it's mm, it can be I can see it really being disappointing for the majority of people so yeah um, I'll be releasing a video on the good things, bad things, or things that I like and don't like about the S24 Plus soon enough. I don't know if I'll be doing a full review because there's enough of those going around. Um, but yeah, I'll just uh, put my insights down when I get the time. So thanks for tuning in and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.